Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's FTPL video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a particular add-on for Google Forms to help you uh, create things like a parent-teacher booking form, which as people select options, those options will be removed from the form for following people so you don't double book. Now you can see here on the screen that I've created a demo version of a parent-teacher interview form. Quite simple really. Uh, there's a spot for the parent's name, a spot for the child's name, uh, required, and then there is a range of uh, parent-teacher interview times. Obviously you want the parent to choose one option submit that option and then have that time slot removed for subsequent viewings of the form by other parents. What we need for that is a particular add-on called Choice Eliminator. Now what I do to get that add-on is up here in the top right hand corner you can see the three, uh, three dots. I click on that, select add-ons, it opens up this add-ons uh, listing. So there's a, a huge range of add-ons here. I want to search for Choice Eliminator and I've then got these two options here. I'm going to go with Choice Eliminator 2. All I do is I click on the button that says Free. I then get a dialog box, which, uh, you know, it's asking for permission to install itself into my Google account. It does that. Down the bottom, you can see it just said Working, and now I know it is there, so I can now use that. So what I want to do now, again, click on the three dots, up the top, there's now a new icon here, a jigsaw piece. This is the add-on icon. If I click on that, it gives me a list of icons that I have that are valid to use with this particular form or with Google Forms. The only one there is Choice Eliminator 2. I click on that and a dialog box comes up. I want to configure how Choice Eliminator is going to work with this form. I can see a dialog box has popped up here in the bottom right hand corner. It's processing the form and it's then giving me the options. So the three dots here, I can add some settings for it. Data sheet form responses one. I simply want it to use uh, to eliminate choices from the time slot question. Now, if you have multiple choices, or sorry, multiple questions in your form that have either checkbox or radio button choices, you'll have a list of options there, and you'll need to choose which particular question you want Choice Eliminator to work with. Because I only have one question on this form that has um, radio buttons, it's like the only one that pops up. So I click on that, I select Eliminate Choices, Creating, thinking about it, it's processing it, eventually we'll get there, done. So I can now click on the gear wheel there, the options, and I can process, it tells me I can set limits. So if, you want, if you're happy to have maybe two or three parents at any one session, you can go in and you can change each of those ones to say two instead, or whatever the number is that you're comfortable working with. This can be used for uh, breakout sessions if you're trying to plan a professional development day with your staff um, and you've got a series of breakout sessions you and you only want maybe five or six at any given uh, session you can come in and you can set that up here so the default is one but you can change that number as you need to uh, depending on what you need to happen so I'm going to go back and change that to one I've got a few other options down here as you can see close restore choices get questions from form and add another choice so this is what the form will look like to parents. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward. Type in your name, your child's name. Don't have a child called Bob. Select the time slot, submit. That's done. I can now submit another response. And you can see that that time slot that I chose, the 3.30 time slot, is now dis uh, removed from that list. So it's eliminated that choice, and that's how the that particular add-on works. Please feel free to rewind and watch this video again. I have gone through all of that fairly quickly, but for more helpful videos like this, please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on FTPL videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.